Hey guys, guys and welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. It's your boy Alvin and Latina. Shout out to the All Stars. If you're new to our channel, we welcome you with open arms. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications in the comment section. Let us know you joined this family, the Alvin and Latina Stars, the All Stars. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to all. By the time this is up, Thanksgiving <coughs> might be halfway over. I am but very thankful for God first and foremost just blessing me with another year to see Thanksgiving and I am very thankful for the people that view our channel and enjoy us reacting and the comments I'm just very grateful and thankful I'm thankful for seeing another day another year another month another week I'm able to spend time with my kids, my husband, and my family, and I'm able to talk to my family even though we could not be with them this year. I'm very thankful that they are all safe and they all got together. I'm thankful that they did that even though we couldn't make it. I'm happy that my family and I will, we will all be able to talk to them and it'll be good. And I'm thankful for all the subscribers, all the support that we get from you guys even though we are like the world's worst YouTubers. <laughs> Like, as far as, like, posting and stuff like that. But we thank you, and I'm thankful for all the love that you guys give us on a daily. Because it is daily. And I thank you. Thank you, Grand Rapids family. So, happy Thanksgiving from our family to yours. Into this video. Um, so, we've been getting a lot of requests to do individual songs from 5th... From uh, Little Mix, <laughs> new album. So disrespectful. So instead of just doing 18 videos, because that's what it would end up turning into, 18 videos, we thought we would just do the album review. So we're going to listen to the album. We're going to tell you what we think about each song. And yeah. Here we go. Don't break your promise. The National Anthem. That was the first song, the National Anthem. The National Anthem. No, that was the introduction. Yeah. That's a cute little intro. It was a unique way of expressing the anthem. Basically, feminist anthem. I thought it was cute. I mean... I wasn't expecting it. She is a bad bitch. That was cute. <laughs> so that was Woman Like Me featuring Nicki Minaj. I have to say, this song is really starting to grow on me. I... Not that I was iffy about it from the beginning because I liked it, but it's like I'm really liking it now. I still don't think Nicki Minaj was necessary. But. Uh, I definitely enjoy it. And like Nicki is a woman. She has her own style and she's representing a woman like herself. So, I mean, it don't matter which woman it would be, which women it would be. It just so happens to be those women. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely enjoy that track. A confident woman and proud to be herself. <laughs> I like it. That's I a nice dance song. Yes, that is club music. Something I would enjoy breaking my wife off to. You know how I do. Do you think about it? What about men? Though? Come on. Can we get some more? I mean, I enjoy this music. What do you mean? You know, well, they, she said, do you think of that? When, when he touched her body type deal. It's talking about from a woman's perspective. I enjoy that music. I like the song. I definitely love that song, especially because we have recently reacted to it. And I noticed in the comment section, they said it was getting a lot of media 
backlash and basically the way they was dressed and that wasn't the point it wasn't trying to right how did you <laughs> miss the entire message of this song the, and decide to bash yeah so i i really love what the song represents i love how they were loving their body showing off their body proud of who they what were the take the make off Take the makeup off. I don't care what you think about my body. It was almost letting the women who are insecure about their bodies know that no matter what you look like, no matter how big, small, skinny, your color, tall, short, big breasts, little breasts, big butt, small butt, it don't matter, man. Just love you for you. Please, media, leave these women alone. They are not trying to sell sex. I can't believe that that actually like, happened. I definitely enjoyed that track. I, I like this song for one big reason. It has a 90s feel to it, which is where music was like at its all time the prime. high and I I wish more people would get back to that like really making music about music not to say that the other songs aren't like real music but it's more the other songs so far have been towards um today like they've just been you know they gotta fit in. They you you kind of you have if you want a career you gotta keep up with what's going on. But it's nice when people take at least one song from their album and take it back to where music was really like because what they're in their early twenties. That's where mm -hmm. music for them really started. So for someone older like in their forties to have a song that goes back to the eighties or the seventies. That was their thing. Right. Like, I think it's always good to to take the, music back that. to where you heard it. So Yeah. I definitely enjoyed it. Wait a minute. If I'm loving you, it's because I can't. I don't know. You're done. <laughs> You're done, so. I don't need no man. 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 Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes, I enjoy that song. It's so much fun. Like, listening to good lyrics. Good it is beat, a really fun song. And how it go from the, vo the verse to the chorus. I enjoy it. I like this song. I enjoy it. It's a good bounce, good vibes. Let's make this track. They doing runs of his. Yeah. Yes, they know that song. Man, I love that track. Another it brought, bringing it back. Yes. You gotta love how they bring it back. Like respecting the music before them. And Let us know. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. And making it their own millennial type music, but rep but respecting the history of it. I love it. Let us know down in the comment section if you know what song was. Uh... Kind of like the Santana. Right there. Oh my gosh! I said let us know down in the comment section. But uh, that's not what I was talking about. So good thing you didn't say it. If you know what song they sampled and what it reminds you of down in the comment section. I like it. Not my favorite, but I like it. American, American. It's chill. You can I told you this is good riding on the highway music. This is good cleaning music. Riding on the highway. Clean. Riding around, getting it. Doing dishes, making the bed.
though. I love this song. It you reminds like, me of hair. I got wine and makeup wipes. Hair I got wine and Oh, sorry. It reminds me of their song Hair, which I actually really like that song too. Um, they're killing it in the vocals. Um, I what I really like so far, I don't I haven't mentioned it in any of the other songs, but what I really like is I can tell that they did not have a lot of work done to their vocals during the editing and mixing and mastering process of their. Uh, putting this album together which I really like because all the auto tune and doubling and uh, what's it called focus muff camera just decided to unfocus for no reason I like it I, I like that this it sounds pure yeah and it sounds like they're harmonizing well <clears throat> like, like they're a good group. Oh. The melody and the uh, beat change and everything reminds me of uh, two songs. TLC's, I can't think of what that song is called, but it was from Fan Mail album. I can't even think of how it goes, but I, I mean, I can think of how it goes, but I can't think. It's not coming out of my mouth. And Janet Jackson's from uh, Velvet Rope. Vel, Vel, is, it, is that what that album was called? Velvet Rope? You got me beat. I know somebody knows that song. Girl. <laughs> the Velvet Rope album. Dicky you get your dog. <laughs> from, uh, and then, because it goes, it starts off slow. <laughs> what about that? That's what the song is called. What about that? What about that? Okay, if you don't know that song, look it up, and then you'll understand why I think that it why it reminds me. And of I'm that. telling you, this is why my wife is who she is. <laughs> it just had to play in my head for a second. I'm just. I can't. I still can't think of the TLC song though. song man that was beautiful i love how they were changing it up with the it was amazing like and i think she's talking i believe to the group like yeah i was gonna say that too but this is, isn't to me another song to each other this is more so for them like showing their love for each other i love that that they show how unity girl how much women them together being together matters yes like, they are truly best friends and they're enjoying right. what they craft is. I like the songs where they're just singing instead of the hip hop feel to it. Not, I mean, not that I don't like those songs, but this like song and Told You So. Beat. Yeah, Told You So, this and. Uh, what was the, one? the other one? Uh, there was one more where they were just like. Putting their passion strip. into sing no, it wasn't strip. Um, putting their passion into the singing, where you know it was just more singing instead of like the fun hip hop I get what feel you're to yeah, it. Yeah. I like those songs because it's always good to have those songs. But I'm a singer, so I would prefer to hear an album where I can hear your vocals and you know passionately connect with yes. you through your voice. Yes. Uh oh, they got a rapper in this. That could just be the beat. I like that song. Um, I like the Spanish feel to it. I wish they would have either gotten someone who speaks Spanish or learned or learned some Spanish for just a little part, like a sentence or two. Come on, estás. Come on, estás, baby. That's my baby. Yo sé un negro y no necesito hablar español, but I want to. So what's the point of having nothing if you never know? Something you know. 
I like this song. I got a couple notes. I love the vocals. I know that this is supposed to be a very um, women, independent women, we women, we don't need no man album. But I wish that this would have featured a man on it. I don't think you notice. But I think it just would have sounded really good with a man. Or even if you wanted to keep it all women, a, a deeper voiced woman. Like, um... Keisha Cole or uh, what is her name? Oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. But somebody like her. Uh, Jennifer to, uh, No, I mean, she's not very deep voiced, but um, but she would have worked. But um, man, Tamar Jackson. Oh yeah. Jackson Braxton. <laughs> Tamar Braxton. <laughs> I think she would have been a perfect fit because her voice would have worked. Beautifully with that with that uh, beat. Yes, I enjoyed that one. It sound like you were in this one place and now you're growing, you learned, you're better. This is the feminist type thing that I'm talking about. When they bring it, they bring it hard. And I enjoyed that as far as women power. Because women are coming to the forefront. They're getting res the respect that they deserve. Like, it's time. No more beating on women and getting away with it. No more touching on women and getting away with it. Not anymore. Not anymore. I enjoy what they're representing for you women. I like the song. I wouldn't turn it on, but I like it. Something. Oh, damn. I like that that was a more of a club banger, well, not banger, bang, bang. but it was more of a hyper song. But it was still vocals Played and and not the like hip hop feel to it. I like it. This song sounds like Chris Brown could have featured on it. Bada bang bang, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I love their vocals. I love how passionate they are when they sing. I, I, I just enjoy Lil Mix. It's an album re review, so I don't want to sound redundant. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like this song. I like the lyrics. I can see this song having backlash. I can see a lot of drama coming from this song. You should try to get in the screen. I'm in the screen. Why? Because you can't see my ear? Yes, I need to see your beautiful ear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, I can see this song getting a lot of... I can see it being controversial. Controversy. Contro controversial. Is that how you say it? Controversial. I'm just trying to back it up a little bit. Nah, bro. You like blind and up on the TV all... <laughs> I can see it being controversial. <laughs> I can see it being a problem for some people. Like who? Oh, try living. Try, try living. That part. Of no. Um, the lyrics are talking about the struggle of being a woman. Yeah. And, I'm and I don't feel this way, but I can see some women, especially black women, taking an offense like, what? What about try living as a black woman? Like, try, try living try as a... living that. Or try living as a black man. Like, I mean, there are so many things, but people, again, have to understand that they are speaking from their point of view. Again, I don't see it that way, but I can see someone getting on Twitter and being like, oh, try living in a woman's... Try living in a woman's world? What about that black man that just got shot? Try living in his world. Like, I can see somebody trying to make an issue out of something that's not really an issue petty but i like the song and i think it's a good thing that they did this song and i think it's a good thing that it can cause those problems because it becomes a thing of speaking out and when people speak whether it's petty or reasonable or not you know you get conversation the king tried, and conversation baby. is the way um 
things get resolved. That's what so. they call an activist. So, good job on this song. I I really like it. Especially once I got to speak it all out. I love it. Because you really get to hear the lyrics. You really get to hear the harmonizations. I don't think it was necessary, but I'd like it. I think it could have been like a bonus track just to be on Spotify, but not on the album. I prefer it stripped. Okay, so one of them should have been booted off the island. Uh, because you get to hear the lyrics. And it's like, it's, it's a build up. It's like you're building someone up. Like, not anymore. It's not, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm built. Actually, I don't even think this should have been on Spotify. I think this should have been like an add-on to a different song for the video either at the beginning or the end how you know how you don't know that's a part of the plan i mean it's on the album so it was supposed to be a surprise but not anymore <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> no one else can fix me only you and when the girl was getting ready for the party, there was a poster of Little Mix. Yeah. Bravo. Beautiful album, you guys. I think they did a really good job on this album. Some of these songs really take me back to the 90s, which I absolutely love. I'm like in the mood. Like, I still can't get that Janet Jackson song out of my head now. Like, I enjoyed this what album. What about the time spent to me? What Thank you for the suggestion. The... Request. I definitely enjoyed this album. It will be added to my list. Um, definitely an album to keep listening to. I if, like it. If you guys sat through this whole video watching us trying enjoying this video, this reaction. It is thank hard you to do so album much. reactions. Um, just because again, you know, we're just sitting here, so. Maybe the next time we do a uh, album reaction, this could just be the fat girl and me wanting to eat. We <laughs> might be doing a mukbang. Here we are, all alone, you and me, trying to eat. Oh my gosh. We got <laughs> oh my gosh. It is so, very long winded. We should have did a Thanksgiving mukbang for this one. Yes, and happy Thanksgiving, and thank you. For watching this video. If you guys like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. And let us know what you section, know. What, let me know. know what you know. <laughs> let us know what you know about this album. Let us know how you feel about the album. Did you cop it? Did, do people buy CDs anymore? Do they cop it CDs anymore? I know. Did you, you sound, cop it? Did hey, you cop it? This album took me back to the 90s. So You got the lip thing going on. The 90s and the you early. You are a cobra. The night We do all do that. I don't know why. <laughs> Especially you and your sister. You and Big Ugg. Um, this album took me back to, to the to 90s Lena. and the early 20s. Well, yeah, the yeah, early yeah. 20s. <laughs> the 90s and the early Looking 200s. Like the Joker to, off Batman. You're making me say ridiculous stuff. <laughs> <laughs> took me back to the 90s and the early 20s. The 90s and the early 200s. The 90s and early, why you talk about the side of your mouth? <laughs> we don't do <laughs> I don't do that. You will see it. I don't do that. You go like this. But yeah, so if you guys like this video. Let us know in the comment section. Let us know in the comment section. Tell me if I talk out the side of my video. Out the side of my face. Out the side of your neck. How I look from the left and how I look from the right. Which side is my best side? If you guys like this video, let us know with a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to our channel, go ahead and hit that button under me. We love you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. If you made it to the end of this video. Lions. Something I want to start doing. If you made it to the end of this video, put a pineapple in the comment section. Pineapple.